we are going to start out this part of the uh, course, this unit, in uh, modeling periodic phenomena. Now a pendulum swing is a good example of something that repeats itself over and over again. We've collected a little bit of data and what's happening here is a pendulum is swinging over here to one meter and it's coming back through the zero position so this is the rest position where it would normally hang and back to negative one meters on this side and then it's going back through the zero position. What I would like you to do with this video is use it to collect some data. And so basically, this uh, zero meters, zero time position, we are going to enter this into Desmos. And so we are going to add a table, and at zero seconds, it is at zero meters. Easy. Okay, now, to collect the data, all we really need to do is just hit the play button here and hit pause. And so I think this is about 0 0.26 meters and it is about 0 0.13 seconds and so I'm going to enter that into Desmos and so this is oh look at how badly I was out okay so this is 0 0.13 seconds and I was wrong it is 0 0.3 and I think it's a uh, I think it's a little more than 3, so maybe it's 0 0.32 meters. So, for each quarter of the swing, I want you to collect sort of about 3 pieces of data and make sure that you get the very end of the swing. Enter those into Desmos, and we are going to try and model this with an equation. I'm not going to pull any punches. You've probably guessed this is the trigonometry section of the course, and so uh, the model we are going to use is going to involve a trig function. Now, this might not make any sense to you, but we're going to start out this way, and eventually I think it's going to make sense. And so y underscore 1 is approximately equal to, let's make an a times, and we're going to use the sine function, a times the sine of b x, and uh, that should be b x underscore 1. Okay, um, and so here's the example of what you're going to be entering. So find out what your a and b values are for this particular swing. Make sure you uh, zoom in and out on Desmos so that you really appreciate what you've done.